Hello and welcome to The Key. I am George Mifsud coming at you on Tuesday, January 31st, 2023. It is the last day of the month. It is go time, peeps. I'm here to talk about our Lieutenant Cram Course. We are starting our Cram Course this coming Sunday in Staten Island on February 5th. I will go over each flyer. I have two flyers for you here. One is a cram course and one is a catch-up course. Um, just to give you an overview, our cram course for key students is $99. Non-key students is $149. Our cram course will consist of six weeks. Four of those weeks will be live, in-person class, consisting of three hours of classroom instruction. We start on Sunday in Staten Island. That will be taught by Frank Vega. Then we have class Monday morning in Valley Stream, taught by myself starting at 9.30. Frank's class starts as well as 9.30 in the morning on Sunday. Then we have two classes going simultaneously on Tuesday evening. My class in Valley Stream at 6.30 and Ralph Salento's class in the Bronx at 6.30. So four live instruction classes coming at you for your crams. In addition to the four live classes, classes consisting of three hours, we are also providing you with two prior lieutenant rewrites that you will be taking on off weeks. So those rewrites, I highly suggest you need to take them on a laptop because that's what you'll be doing come test day in March, all right, on a laptop or some type of desktop. Don't take it on your phone. Take it for real. Take it in one sitting. Take it by yourself and allow yourself about four and a half, 30, four hours and 30 minutes of time because that's what you'll be given come test day. Take it for real, all right? One thing with the rewrites. During our regular 20-week course, we provided a rewrite and students have started taking it and we can tell by the data on the back end, that guys and girls are flying through it. You're doing this exam in 40, 45 minutes, and you're really not taking it serious. You're not doing 100 questions or 80 to 90 questions in 40, 45 minutes. And that's why your scores are reflecting what they're reflecting, all right? We have some students who took their time and they're banging out 90s on the exam. That exam I'm talking about just started this week. It was a week 20 of our regular week course, all right? So, cram time is here. You need to map out what you're going to do for the next approximately two months. Every exam I studied for, when it comes cram time, I would print out a calendar, and on Monday, I'm just making it up, January 31st, I'm going to hit 217. And from 217, I'm going to hit 217.06, 217.10, 217.17. I'm making these procedures up right now. But the point I'm trying to say is have a game plan. Be prepared. You have to be prepared. Don't just open up the book and wing it. This is crucial time going forward now, the next two months. Everything you read, write, listen to, it should be all up here, right? So crams, you are going to be getting this beautiful book. This book has about 590 pages of invaluable content. You cannot believe the work that went into this book and how important it's going to be for you to ace your exam come March, all right? Please take it serious. At this point, this is what I would be reading. Now, in this book as well, just to give you an idea, when I say map out, so here is AG 304, which obviously is used to be the old PG 203. So it lists the different procedures that were tested on every prior lieutenant exam going back 20 years. When I say map out, this is what you should be drilling down on for the next almost two months. The meat and potato procedures. In addition to all the tested procedures that are in this book, we will also be including procedures that have come out since the last exams that seem very, very testable, all right? So it's not just prior procedures, it's what we think you should know come your exam. Speaking of what you, we think you should know, 
Hands down, I don't care who you talk to. You could talk to any police officer who took our sergeant course, lieutenant who took our captain course, whether they took the full course or the cram course, our cram material was spot on. I have students who went to other schools and that I just ran into in functions. Actually, this weekend I was out to dinner and I had a student from another school come up to me and I'm sure he'll post it on social media. I cannot believe how great your cram course was. I should have went to your course from the get-go. Your cram course is what pushed me over the edge. And that guy or girl is in the 90s and he's studying for the lieutenant exam, hoping that he'll make it. You know what? I hope he does make it. Right choice, you have to study. I don't know if that list will be out, but the bottom line is, hands down, our cram course killed the sergeant and the captain's course. I will go head to head with anybody out there and defend what I am saying. The feedback we got is just tremendous. Do not miss out on our cram course, all right? So speaking of studying, I said you should map it out. Definitely map out what you're gonna study. Do questions, all right? Speaking of questions, like we told you we have the rewrites. Our rewrites and our questions that we had throughout the 20 week course are exam-like. Exam-like. You've taken, you've took exams, I've taken exams. All instructors have taken exams. We know what's on your exam. Multiple choice, A, B, C, and D. You're not gonna sit there and they're gonna say, hey, fill in the blank of what a missing person is. No, it's not happening, people, it's not happening. You are gonna get A, B, C, and D. You're not gonna get a question, is this true or false? That's all bullshit. It will do nothing for you. Take it from me, all right? I wrote an exam, I was number three on my sergeant exam studying during 9-11. Don't get flustered with all the noise that you hear out there. Ooh, I took 8,000 true and false questions. Hey, good for you. Go to the bodega and buy some more crossword puzzles and fill that shit in as well, all right? You need to be prepared for your exam. Multiple choice, A, B, C, and D. Not A through K, or not you went to a crime scene and you came across 17 objects. Object seven should be item number what on the invoice. Get the hell out of here with that bullshit. Realistic questions, all right? I can't stand when students send me these questions that go to multiple classes or they come up to class. Cap, what do you think about this? First of all, don't call me Cap, I'm George, all right? I'm not on that ego trip. What do you think about this question? I look at the question and it, if it's a true and false or it has seven different choices, I say, you know what? I'm not even entertaining this nonsense. You go ahead and do what you wanna do with that. Also, don't be intimidated by the post or the people in your command that say, I was at the library for eight hours today, knocking it dead. Yeah, good for you. What did you really get out of that eight hours? If you were able to retain, digest, comprehend, understand all the material you read for eight hours, God bless you. Because the average person, that's not happening. Me, two to three hours every day is all it took. 101 on my sergeant exam. Number three, during 9-11. Two to three hours is all it took. You're not sitting in a room for eight hours and retaining all that stuff. But hey, if that works for you, God bless you, and I guarantee you should be number one on the exam. I don't see why not, all right? I do not see why not. So, cram course. Just to give you a little uh, insight. That's on these flyers that is out there, all right? Six week cram course, I told you it's four live locations per week. In addition to the live locations, you're gonna get our two rewrites, which I highly, highly suggest you take it, all right? You can sign up for our CRAM course at our website, www.nypvthekey.com. Sign up, just like the sergeants, space is limited. You don't wanna sign up and get turned out, all right? All material, this book right here, and also the key legal digest will be given to you at class. Nothing is going to be mailed, all right? This is coming to you at class. This digest is for non-key students because all key students got this digest 
when they signed up for our cram course or right, when they signed up for our original course, all right? So everybody will get this, non-key students will get this. If you do the catch-up course, a 20-week catch-up course, which a flyer is out there as well, it's 349, which is gonna give you a regular 20-week course, which will give you access to our online platform called Cat, uh, Cops, which has all kinds of valuable content in there. It has my weekly video, it has the weekly video that Ralph does in PowerPoint presentation, it has key essential videos where they break down the most historical tested procedures, whether it's a line of duties or a vehicle department vehicle collisions. There's numerous procedures that are very important. Breaking down in PowerPoint style. Also, you will be able to have access to our weekly legal bureau penal law video that John Monahan made, all right? Besides the book, you will have videos. Penal Law Legal Bureau Bulletin, you're good for two to three questions. Why give them up, all right? So you have a lot of resources avail available to you, whether you are just doing the CRAN or you're gonna do the catch-up, all right? So the catch-up is 349 for both courses, the 20 weeks, and you'll get all four textbooks and access to all our videos and online content in COPS, and then you will have our CRAMs going forward, okay? So please sign up. Don't waste no time. Time is ticking. Have a game plan, like I said. Map it out. And for you guys and girls, I will see you for your next test, which will be the captain's test, all right? Like I've been saying since day one, best in the business. Let's finish strong and knock this shit out of the park.